Good morning, Cabaret Hall. I'm Alex Starr. And I'm David Sanika. Today is Friday, September 23rd, day two on your schedule. Please hear him for the prayer and the pledge. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, you send your only begotten Son into this world to bear our flesh and to save us. In his mission, he taught us about your heart. You are surely a God of peace who abhors violence wherever possible. You encourage unity. He taught us to follow him, to be the salt of the earth, and to make peace wherever we can. Lord, teach us to be peacemakers and to walk in a manner that reflects the wondrous peace that is given through your spirit in Christ our Lord. Amen. St. John Baptiste de La Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please remain standing for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. General, spirit shirts. All homeroom reps should have come to the SAO before homeroom today to pick up spirit shirts for their homeroom. If your homeroom did not get their shirts, send someone to SAO immediately to get them. If the size is wrong or if there is a problem, bring the shirt to the SAO immediately. Students who wish to buy an extra shirt can do so after third period today. Finally, spirit shirts for students not in homeroom should be returned to the SAO by the end of homeroom. Your names are on the bag. Please do not misplace it. College fair. All students are invited to attend the college fair at Calvert Hall on Wednesday, September 29 at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Over 130 colleges will attend. Lunch IOUs. All students that borrowed a lunch voucher, please bring $8 in cash to the Student Activities Office as soon as possible. Monday is the deadline if you owe IOUs. Citadel process continued. Students, but also faculty and staff, are invited to a listening session organized by Baltimore City Churches this Saturday, September 24, from 10 to 11.30 a.m. For details, see Dr. Van Gaal. College visits. The following colleges will be visiting today. Loyola Marymount University, 9.35 a.m. at the School Counseling Office. Ohio State University, 1020 a.m. at the School Counseling Office, Towson University, 1150 a.m. the Activity Center, and York College of Pennsylvania, 1235 a.m. School Counseling Office, Stevenson University, 850 a.m. School Counseling Office, and Kaniskius College, 1235 p.m. at the School Counseling Office. Commons rules when guests visit. Starting on Tuesday, CHE will welcome eighth grade guests on a daily basis. Students in the Commons before 8 a.m. should be seated and on their best behavior while admissions is presented to the parents of visitors. Anyone not in a seat by 8 a.m. will not be allowed in the comments until after homeroom. Student population survey. After today's announcements, each student will need to complete the student demographic survey. The online survey can be found on your student profile. Please comp complete the survey in the homeroom. Thank you. Clubs. Hispanic Council. The Hispanic Council will be attending a mass in Spanish on Sunday, October 2nd at St. Gabriel and eating some food afterward. We will leave CHC at 11.30 and return at around 3.30. If you're interested, please RSVP with Mrs. Gonzalez or Brother Yabi by Monday, September 26th. Bocce. No bocce this week due to football and soccer games this week. Next bocce Friday is September 30th. 
math club tryouts. Do you have what it takes to join the new and improved Calvert Hall math team? Find out next Monday in room 115. Ski, ski club. The ski club is having its first interest meeting Tuesday, September 27th at 3 p.m. in room 230. Please contact Ms. Jenkins if you have any questions. Instrumental music. Good luck to the competition marching band as they travel to Mechanicsburg High School for their first competition of the season tomorrow evening. Freshmen, homeroom Monday. Freshmen should meet in the theater for homeroom on Monday morning class in meeting seats, book bags permitted. Homeroom reps. Congratulations to the following students who serve as homeroom reps for the class of 2026. 1A, Henry Lynch. 1B, Jack Williams. 1C, Gavin Relly. 1D, Paku Kumar. 1F, Cameron Cooper. 1G, Mateo Soto. 1H, Dylan Dekluski. 1I, John Ellerin. 1J, Adam Solomon. 1K, Ethan Christie. And 1L, John Nukparko. 1M, Braden Zuckerman. And 5A, Kamor. Juniors, rings. All juniors should receive a memo in homeroom today. The memo will tell you if we have a ring or uh, for you or if we do not. If this is inaccurate, please email Mr. Parisi so we can look into the issue. Otherwise, we are creating seeing charts and putting lists together over the weekend. Athletics, home varsity games. Reminder, all CHC students must show current 2022 to 2023 student ID cards for free admission to games. Today's sports schedule. Varsity football versus Spalding, 4 o'clock home, early dismissal at 2. Varsity soccer versus Curley, 7.15 home. JV Soccer at Curley, 4 o'clock away, early dismissal at 2.30. Water Polo at McDonough, 4 o'clock away, early dismissal at 2.30. That's not all for us today, Calvert Hall. Please stay tuned for a special message from Mr. Fan. As always, here's the main time at home to check your mail. Thank you, and happy Friday. Good morning, Cairo Hall. It's Mr. Fan from the Office of Academic Affairs. In a little bit of time, you're going to complete a survey that is going to help us collect information about our student population as a community and better understand its demographics. The information we collect will not be shared with anybody outside the Cairo Hall community. And in fact, will be used to update the information we collected last year. But we do ask that you take the time to purposely read each question and response before responding. The survey itself should only take about five minutes, but if you have trouble responding to a question, please raise your hand and ask your home teacher. This information collected is very important to us because it gives us a more accurate picture of who we are as a community and allows us to better serve you as students to give you the best education we can possibly do so. If upon completion you have any additional questions, feel free to visit me in my office or send me an email and I will do my best to respond to each one. I thank you for taking the time to take this survey seriously, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a great Friday. Thank you.